Aha, dinky new TikTokers. We're just about to go live on the phone in. How amazing is that? Wonderful stuff. Dinky do me hearties and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's 20th phone in. This is the big one. Or is it the 21st tonight? It might be the 21st one tonight. Who knows? Fantastic. But lovely, lovely to have you with us. Welcome to our TikTokers, of course. And if you're watching on YouTube, do subscribe. And if you're watching on Twitch, if you're watching on Facebook, or if you're watching on LinkedIn, this is Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatie, the first lord of the internet, with the world's top internet phone-in. Probably the world's finest internet phone-in. How amazing is that? So a very, very warm welcome to you. And did you do Scotty boy in time tonight? Absolutely. We're always in time. Always spot on. Here's the phones going on the phone in. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Dinky do, Scott, sir. Ah, dinky do, Glenn, you are quick uh, off the mark tonight, La. I set the tab side on, I've got it, to be honest. You've you done what? You've got to set the barrier there. You're on oh, the you've got to it. set the bar right up the top there, oh, you've Glenn. Got, you've got to play right at the top, you, right? You you've got to go right at top, first off. Unbelievable, yeah. Would you say in Yorkshire, first off or first on? I'd say first off, Scotty. First off? Yeah. yeah. Off, we've got a decent moon tonight, Scotty. Beautiful moon. Beautiful moon tonight. Yeah, a Yorkshire moon. moon. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. There's everybody joining us on TikTok, Glenn. Hello, Scotty. How are you, sis? Icky. Yeah, nice one. Hey, they're all, they're all here. Do you, uh, do you like dark nights or do you like... Um... Summer night, oh, I like, see, a night there. light tonight is absolutely perfect. Nice yeah. and still, you know, beautiful sky. Change clocks and Yeah, fantastic. End of British summertime. End of British summertime coming up. Now, listen, have you ever heard of the Lunar Men? I have, yes, guy. Yeah, the Lunar it's Men. Much, and this is a lunar, lunar eclipse. No, no, the Lunar Men. Oh, yeah. Now, have you heard of them? I, I think I have, yeah. Yeah, the I'm Lunar Men there. were uh, great thinkers. People like Josiah Wedgwood of Wedgwood Pottery. I and, have, yeah. And uh, James Watt, the engineer from Greenock that invented the condensing steam engine. Correct, yeah. You see, and what they used to do, the reason they were called the Lunar Men, they used to meet on full moons because they could walk it. Oh, yeah. You see, and they could get out there, and they, they came up with clever ideas like, Wedgwood Pottery, Josiah Wedgwood was losing a lot of his beautiful pottery on the rutted roads. It was smashing. No matter how much he wrapped it all up, it was getting smashed. So he was losing a lot of what he was making. There is a lot of pottery in museums, isn't there, Scott? Yeah, clever. Staffordshire, of course, not far from the... Definitely. Derbyshire. Have you, have you, have you been to uh, Chatsworth House, Scott? Very much so, yes, indeed. And... Canada. Yep, and I'll tell you, there was a tie-up between the Chatsworths and the Fitzwilliams at Wentworth Woodhouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know that one? I do, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and that, that's had some history, that place, I'll tell you. I've never really um, I've never really watched Downton Abbey that much, have you, Scott? Uh, no, I haven't watched as much of it as I would have liked it. Yeah. But I like the actors in it, I like Maggie Smith. Oh, fantastic actress. You know, she's fantastic, so it's wonderful stuff. So Thank I haven't, to be honest, seen as much as I would have liked to. Do you like Thank it, you're saying? I haven't really followed it, Scotty, to be honest now. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when everybody's watching something, you don't always get to it, you know what I mean? It's like Line of Duty wasn't mentioned as well, weren't it? Well, Line it's of Duty, it's... you see, I didn't see that first off, but I kind of yeah. binge-watched it on the catch-up. I had trended on it when it, you know when it, everything first came out. A lot yeah. of people trended it at the last time, do it, when it's first up? Absolutely. You know, on mainstream, but, but I have to say, it, I have to say, Line of Duty was very, very well done. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we could oh, we could do with we could do with AC twelve round about some of the politicians. I reckon we could, can't we? <laughs> we could start, Scotty, we could start a conference with that, can't we? We could get a conference going with that lot, love. But, <laughs> and there's also Peaky Blinders as well. That's also another big Peaky Blinders, you know, very good. Yeah. Can't see a thing. Peaky Blinders. Another great. Yeah. 
drama. That, that was a goodie, wasn't it? Great stuff. You can't beat Art Beat. You know, uh, oh, Art Beat. Lovely. You can't, you can't beat Art Beat or the Royal. Yeah, the Royal. The Royal's another cracker, yes, yes. Very good. When you when you come to think about it, we've had a lot of dra good dramas over the years, haven't we? Very good. Comedies. Comedy is my genre, to be honest, Scott. Uh, well, to be honest, there's quite a bit of comedy in Heartbeat and the Royal. There is, yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, obviously there's some terrific sadnesses as well, but there's the, you get a good laugh. And I loved Bleakton and Alf and all that oh, lot, you know. Greengrass, David. I liked when uh, I liked Alf is, is like got a fag in one hand and an egg sandwich in the other and a cup of tea in the other. And, and yeah. phone goes, you know, and he's giving it, Aidensville, please. Fantastic. You know, all that. And then somebody says, there's been a break-in at all, Alf. He goes, I think I might know who's done that. One who works in Bob, the author of the one who works in Bob with Gina, isn't it? Gina, she's amazing, yeah. She's a scouser. Yeah. Yeah, they're and very, very good. Sometimes when you're saying, all right, you know, like when you're saying to somebody on, on phone, and sometimes a little bit of scouser comes out, don't it? From me? Yeah. Oh, really? A little bit, yeah. Ah, a little, little bit of Scouse. Scotty, you've got a little bit of everything, though, aren't you? A little bit of everything. The world's only honorary Yorkshireman. Definitely. You, you've been around, Scotty, you've been everywhere and everywhere, aren't you? So it's... I've been around. Pick up. A lady looked at my CV once and she put it down and she went, well, there's nothing you haven't done, really, is there? <laughs> I love I'm all that. Scotty Real family. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. That was my best comedy. That was another honest. cracker. That was it. I love Jim yeah. sitting there, you know. Yeah, Jim sitting. Jim. Was Jim, Jim like having that whole box of after eights for his Christmas? Brilliant. And when, uh, son, when, when he comes in, father-in-law to be. Yeah. Can't wait to get rid of him. The dragging, <laughs> you know what? Uh, but you know, to be honest, Glenn, how many of us have not been in a house just like that? We're talking right nice to the first, and as soon as they've got out. Yeah. And then, you you know, you pop round on a Saturday afternoon and you just sit watching the telly with the family. Exactly. They go, oh, hello, love, come in. We're just yeah. watching this. They don't put telly off or out. And there was another one, um, Jeffrey Hughes, when you uh, Twitter. What was that one? Twitter, Twitter yeah. That's a uh, real family, Twitter. Oh, right. Oh, them. yes. Oh, right. Excellent. Very well they're done. The, they're doing the number number five when they're doing it. Very well done. Very well done. Now, listen, my boy, I'm going to dash tonight because we got a row last night. Nice one, Sky. But you take great care and dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, Sky. Take Dink care, big man. Appreciate your call. Fantastic. Ooh. That's our Glenn with the chit-chat. Now, what's happening tonight? Uh, now, here we go. Here we go. Right. Um, good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure. Hi, Scotty. Numpty Head Frost again. No, that wasn't Numpty Head. Um, you, you live, Scotty. Yes, we're live. Hi, Scotty. Dinky Doo says Karima. A lovely way to talk ideas. Hello, everyone. Karim, why are you not on Frost? Were you in the bath? You're live on Scotty's phone. In who's that? Hi, Scotty. How are you, Karim? Oh, Karim, excellent. Karim, you got bitten to the post tonight. I did. I'll give, I'll give other people a wee chat. You got picked at the post <laughs> tonight, I'll tell them. Now, fantastic. How are you, sir? I am well, thank you. And yeah. yourself? Well, very much so, because we've had some very good social media. It's building and building. And okay. yes, it's little acorns. I'll be the first to admit that. But we're yeah. live on TikTok right now with all the beautiful TikTokers. Yes, hello, TikTok. Yes, hello everybody on TikTok. This is Kareem saying dinky do to every single one of you. Thank I'll you just do. while you're on, Kareem, because if we're busy on the phones, Scotty, hope you've had a good day. Good evening, says Jason. If you got time yep. in your hands, watch an audience with Alf Garnet. Good to have you back, says Martin. Scotty, how you doing? Says Hodger Wheesht. Lauren <laughs> says dinky do. And uh, who else are we? That's it. Good evening, sir, says Susie. So there we are, Sue. So who's a gentleman in Holland? Ah, there yeah, we are. A boy named Sue. Hello, Scotten. <laughs> yeah, come in the house, will you come to heaven? I'm feeling my clumpen. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Now then, I was reading 
in the Facebook earlier on regarding this weekend within Glasgow that although is it is it June they have the big orange walks but they're having a massive one. Uh, July on. July is usually the big one. The twelfth of July right. is Orange yeah. Day because that commemorates the Battle of the Boyne in sixteen ninety. Right, but they're having. They're saying thousands of people are going to be ascending to Glasgow this weekend. Yes. And obviously, probably avoid the place if you don't want trouble to get caught up in traffic. Well, I think most yeah. people just avoid orange walks anyway because they do hold up the traffic if you're going to do your shopping. Absolutely. You know, and it's only a, a sort of, a, there's a kind of handful of people that support it now. I think yes. it's something that is dying out, to be honest with you. Um, it was it King William or King Billy? I think I didn't know. I was reading briefly about it. King that. William. What happened? What happened? Very briefly, Karim. They brought um, up until sixteen eighty eight. The king's uh -huh. power was absolute. So if the king said kill him, then somebody got their head chopped off. You know. Now, uh -huh. then you had Parliament, the start of democracy. And you had the parliament, but the king was in charge of parliament. And okay. then in 1688, they brought over a, a Stuart's husband. Uh -huh. So what had happened was Mary Stuart had married Prince William of Orange, who was a very, okay. very dodgy character, very dodgy, right? right. And, uh, you know, I mean, I won't go into some of the horror stories about him. Anyway. Uh, suffice to say, they brought him over, but they said to him, you will also do what Parliament tells you, so your power won't be absolute, it will be constitutional. And that was the start of constitutional monarchy. Now, also, it had fitted in with the Reformation, so they were concerned that we might end up with another Catholic monarch, and they ended up with a Protestant monarch in King William. Right. And he was the one responsible for the Glencoe massacre. But it was a kind of long story because MacDonald didn't make it in time to sign the Oath of Allegiance. Right. You right. see? The, was there something to do with the Vatican, with King William, King Billy or something? I was reading about that, that he was sent something to do with the Vatican. I don't know if it's just hearsay or not, you know, if, uh, social media is like... Uh, making up things. Mm. Uh, I, I don't know what in particular you will be referring to, but he uh -huh. did fight James, who was actually right. his father-in-law, right. at the Battle of the Boyne over in Ireland in 1690. Right. And they wore green. Okay. They didn't wear orange. They wore green, you know. Right. Okay. So it was he came from orange in Holland. So that that was the that was the the reason is you have your orange men, your supporters uh -huh. of a Presbyterian, a Protestant monarchy. Uh -huh. Yes, and you have the crown and the Bible. Right. Okay. So that's what they're and they're known as loyalists because they're loyal to the crown. Yeah. The mo yeah yes, Queen Elizabeth. Yes. Well. It, it is now, but in actual fact, I mean, these are all sort of tentative things. Queen Anne was your naughty girl. She was a right. Stuart. People are always shouting, we want a Stuart back. She it was Queen Anne that facilitated the Union, and the Union's uh -huh. built on very, very soft sand. It was all right. very dodgy, but she pushed it through. And in uh -huh. 1701, you had the Act of Succession. That was to say that they didn't want a Catholic on the throne. So they wanted right, to okay. put a stop to this yin and yang, Catholic, Protestant, Catholic, Protestant, because you only had Protestants since the late 1500s anyway. Right, okay. You see? Right. So, but they wanted a Protestant king, and Queen Anne, who was the last of the Stuarts, she died in 1714, she pushed through the Union because it was King William that had actually bankrupted Scotland by pulling out of the Darien scheme. Right, okay. Yes, so a lot of Scots perished on the isthmus of Panama in tropical climes, disease, illness, poverty, starvation, the lot. 
plus the rest had been fighting. The nobles had fought themselves almost to death. So what Queen Anne did was she bribed them. So she said to people like the Duke of Hamilton at the time, who actually was so vain, he called his daughter, he's sorry, he called his son Anne after Queen Anne. So you had actually got Duke Anne of Hamilton at one point. Wow. Crazy stuff. So they didn't want, going back to the declaration of Verbroth in the 1300s, they didn't want uh, the Pope choosing the Scottish king. So that's why the declaration of Verbroth, it was a letter from the aristocracy, really, saying, look, can we choose our king? So the king was effectively elected in Scotland. Right. But, okay. by, but by the nobles. So that's the background. Sorry to go into all that stuff, but that's the no. background to it. Now, since then you had Ireland, and no. Ireland was very big because Britain had the Irish crown. Uh -huh. So the British ran the whole of Ireland, but right. some of them treated the Catholics and the peasants badly. Um, so that did not go down well, and that was the start of your troubles that flared up after the or during the First World War, after the First World War, into the 20s, and then flared up again in the late 60s. Right, okay. And it really only was put a stop to by the Good Friday Agreement. Yes. You see? Right, okay. once, once America steps in, the nonsense stops. Because America can say, look, see if you don't all stop your nonsense, nobody will ever hear of your little country again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was the Good Friday Agreement again? Well, the Good Friday Agreement was 19, 1998. Am I right in that? 1998. And right. that was when uh, Tony Blair, the British Prime Minister, um, and the Irish Taoiseach and the Irish... Um, the uh, Minister for Ireland at the time, everybody got together and came to an agreement that all the troubles stop. Yeah. The fighting yeah. stops now. Because you see so many Americans, I mean, there's a lot of Americans supporting the Irish people because so many Americans are descendants. And there was the famine in Ireland in 1841, and that caused people to flee just so they could even save their lives. And a lot of them came to Glasgow. And it was their descendants that started Celtic Football Club. Yeah. You know? yeah. And you got a lot that went over to America as well. Didn't yes, it? yes. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the Irish, the Irish diaspora, as they call it, is absolutely uh -huh. massive throughout the world. The same with the Scots, uh -huh. you know. They're, they're, they're yeah. absolutely all over the place, Canada, Australia, because the clearances, and again, uh -huh. this is where Westminster backed the clearances. So Scotland has had a very, very tough deal, and the, the union was supposed to be 50-50, yeah. you know, yeah. and that's what Westminster needs to start respecting, but is absolutely yeah. terrified of, because if they lose Scotland, uh, they lose so many resources. And so much money. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, see all the information you've told me there, Scotty. Yes. I can probably guarantee you a lot of these people that will be marching at the weekend won't have a clue what you've just said. Absolutely not. They won't have a clue about any of that. Yeah. You know, they won't have a clue about any of that. They've just been brought up. This is what you are, but they haven't been told why. Yeah. You know? I, I remember a doctor telling me that a lady had gone into the surgery and they have to fill in a form to get on to the, the practice. And they said, um, it says you could state your religion. And I think he'd said to her, that's optional. And she said, no, I don't mind. I'm Rangers. <laughs> yeah, Do you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I mean, that's that's where it all goes. That's why I was saying last night at an old firm, what we should do is start it with a mass and a divine service, and there's no admission to the ground once the service has started. You have mass, you have divine service, and then you have the game. Right. And that right. will flush out till we see really how devout the whole religious thing is. 
Yeah, yeah. Because that's the yeah. excuse people have used for bad behavior over the years. Yeah. They've said, well, it's a religious thing, you see. I think we have to move on from excuses. I, yeah. I'm not. I, I do think both sides are as bad as each oh, other. Oh, absolutely. That's that's why. You see, I don't take sides. Yeah. Because my problem, if you like, is I can see everyone's point of view. Now that doesn't yeah. make it right. It doesn't excuse it, but it does yeah. explain it. Yeah. You well, see? if you look recently with. Uh, use Rangers as an example, the two times that they were in George Square and completely destroyed the place and vandalised the statues, you know, it's, I, I mean, that, to me, that's not fans, and Celtic would get, get their knuckles wrapped as well if, if that was them doing that as well, and I'd be saying that, and I'm sure a lot of other people would be saying that, um, to me, that's not fans, that's just thugs attaching themselves to a club. Yeah. Yeah, what was that one again, Kareem? The start of that there? Sorry, that was thugs attaching themselves to a club. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. There's where they think there's trouble. I mean, you get people trying to make trouble. They think they'll get a fight. Oh, aye, aye. Um, and sadly, they they will when it's an old forum day. I've never been to an old forum, and I have no intentions because um, I just think the hatred that you're going to see with people. Against each other is just it's disgusting, and at the end of the day, it's as if for ninety minutes, whatever sanity they have, whatever decency they have, that goes out the window, and the, just listening to the shouting, the swearing, the hatred, the yeah. bigotry, it's 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 beyond stupid. I'm just you know? wondering if we should start to phase out swearing. Mm -hmm. You know, just actually phase it out. Um. I'd say good luck with that because I know that <laughs> I've got the kids in our school. I think swearing just comes to <laughs> every second. When they're comes a bit easy to them, but they must have heard it somewhere, you see. Yeah. Well, I think, I don't, well, partly I do blame parents for that, but also I think if you look at social media as well, because you do have a, a lot of... Uh, you, you do see, I think the stuff. second somebody swears in social media their point is actually null and void. I've, I've heard you say that many times, and actually I think that that is very valid. Um, I don't. There's a study that actually says people that swear, and I've seen it a few times in certain facts, that people that swear tend to be more honest and trustworthy. No. Yeah. I don't, I don't think so at all. I think they tend to be more slippery. Uh-huh. You know, because because they're struggling for language. Now, don't think I'm a saint. Don't think I have never said a wee naughty word on occasion. But I do try to ration myself. Well, if you hurt your finger, if you fall, of course, out of anger, you might swear. Or no, 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 no. If I hurt my finger, say I hit my finger, that I do what the Queen would do and go on a short, informal walkabout. <laughs> That'll be you calm down. Yeah, but no, I just thought to bring that up, Scotty, because there will be trouble this weekend. There yeah. always is something. Uh, and I just hope, you know, I hope in a modern Scotland, if we do get this transfer of referendum, that we can, you know, put it down to be a minimum, I think, would be the yeah. best thing. Um, but one thing I would like Police Scotland was to, and both sides as well, they have been criticised because a lot of the, the trouble was allowed to go on and there's a lot of video footage of that instead of nipping it in the bud, stamping it out. I think the police felt, well, it's best to just let them have it and move them on yeah. to, so there's not going to be issues within the wider community. You know, I always remember before I go, Scotty, are you still there, Scotty? Yes, yes, Leslie. Hi, sorry. A couple of years back when my granddad was in hospital before he passed away, God rest his soul, two years ago, I remember I was in the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and governed the very big one, the new one. And on the night just around the corner, it was when there was massive um, fights within Govan. Just yes. around the corner and you had the police vans and everything and it was just... A, I can't really remember. I think it was Rangers fans and they weren't happy about something, but it was just horrible think that that was still going on in modern Glasgow today is it's maybe we need Sir Percy Sillito back. Aye, right, okay. Have you ever heard of Sir Percy Sillito? 
I have not, but... I'm, right, I'm Percy, sure. Percy Sillito was the Chief Constable of Sheffield. Right. And they asked him, they invited him to become the Chief Constable of Glasgow. And uh, he was a great big man, big handsome guy. And uh, he came up to Glasgow. And they had the Razor Gangs were running about at the time in the Gorbals and in Govan. Uh -huh. And uh, Percy put together great big groups of Highland policemen. Right. Yeah, and they were all armed with clubs and sticks and everything. And Percy said to them, we will not charge you for assault or anything like that. If you see a fight, you break it up, right? So these right. vans were going around Glasgow, and when the gangs were fighting, the police uh -huh. would disgorge themselves and go over and just absolutely leather the shecht out of the gangsters. Yeah, and, and I bet you that stopped it very quickly. Very, very, very quickly indeed. So nobody messed with Sir Percy. And then when Percy retired, he was running a wee sweet shop away down in the south of England, him and his missus, a wee paper shop and sweeties and uh -huh. things. And uh -huh. two guys came in after, one afternoon and spoke to him and uh -huh. asked him if, you know, he would consider a job offer. And um, he said, no, 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 I'm semi-retired now and I'm quite happy and blah, blah, blah. And yeah. uh, it was to become the head of MI5. Oh, my goodness. Did he turn it down? I don't know what happened. I'll need to find out more. But the more you hear about these guys, the more fascinating they become. And I know there's a, there's a biography of Percy Sillito, and I saw it in a second-hand shop, and for yep. some reason I didn't buy it that day. I maybe didn't have the money. It's probably a pound or two. But I thought, to, you know, I didn't buy it, and I wish I had, because I'd love to find out more about Percy Sillito. Uh, there was a, a study to, before I go, sorry, I know I've overstayed my welcome. But, You'll never uh, overstay your welcome, was, but, you know, obviously people will be going, we're only getting about half a dozen calls in. <laughs> um, before I go, there was a, a, a study today, and it was about the justice with uh, under 25s, just bringing that up there, Scotty. Yes. Uh, their, their new idea is what they want to introduce, is that if they don't want to put them in jail, they want to try to get them back into rehab. And I saw that, yeah. Society. You know, and I just think that's too much molly cuddling if you're going to go down that road. I do think that a lot of people play the system well, and we've spoken about this before in the past, but I won't go on, I'll leave that for something No, but if you're not careful, life. you're quite right, you're going to end up with a soft system where youngsters think, I might just get away with that. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you we know. need to put a stop to that as well. I know, I'll attend a course here and there, and that'll be me a wee Aye, this. that'll be me, I'll have got away with that serious assault, you know. I'll have a wee think about that, Scotty, for another night, but uh, I'll say thinky-do, and do, sorry, uh, everybody. Dinky sorry. Do, no, no, quality <laughs> stuff. You never need to apologise. Dinky-do. Bye-bye. ta -ra, Kareem. What a fascinating guy. Now, Kareem's very, very good. That is amazing. Lots of lovely TikTokers with us, dinky-do. If you're looking to phone in, you can. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? No, nobody there. Absolutely. We problem with it. Not to worry. Uh, that's a lovely way to talk ideas. Absolutely, Angel. Uh, who else have we got on here? Dinky News is Ian. Uh, giving others a chance is Graham. Very good, Graham. My name's Michael. How are you feeling today? I'm going to the gym. Good one, Michael. That's excellent stuff. Oh, our great Glenn and then Kareem. Eddie says, dinky do. Can't believe they still do walks. They really should stop it, says Angel. Yep, that's right. Yes, Angel's saying, stop the orange walks. 1,300, but everyone was Catholic. Well, Vaughan, everyone is still Catholic, just not everyone is Roman Catholic. Now, our lovely TikTokers, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky Doo from Russia. With love, Matthew. Thank you. Dinky Doo, would you support Scottish independence? I think economically they could do well. How are you so knowledgeable, Scotty, says Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. I'm surprised that uh, a human-sized head can hold all the immense knowledge you possess, says Kirby. Kirby, Dinky Doo. He must be a Mensa member. Yes, IQ of 164, I believe. There we are. <laughs> All a load of dribble, not at all. 
Scottish independence, dinky doo, Yankee doodle dandy. Scotty the legend, says Scotty. You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Scotty. It's Jordan here. Jordan, how lovely to hear you. How are you? I'm doing great. I, I've just got a really important question for you. Yes, sir. So I'm thinking of coming out the closet and I don't know how to tell my parents. Uh, Jordan, how long have you been thinking about this? Like, seriously, three months, but like on and off, like close to a year. Close to a year. Right. Now, I'm not the best advisor in the world, but do you have to tell your parents? I just feel like it's disrespectful if they don't know. Do you think your parents might already know anyway? Uh, I don't think I said anything that like hints towards it. Are they like... are they liable to be difficult about it? Uh, yeah, like my dad is like very Christian and he's very against it. Right, but I mean, if you can explain yourself that this is how it is. Because, you see, you don't actually have to justify yourself, Jordan. This is, this is you. This is the way you are. This is part of you. And you should not be living with anxiety or fear. Yeah, I understand that. You know, you, you should not be having a tough time. You're young and you're happy and you should be celebrating being you. Thanks, Scotty. That, that was my only question. You really helped me there. That's, that's what I would say there, Jordan. And work out when it suits you to tell them, if at all. Thanks, Scotty. Well, I'll talk to you later, sexy man. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dean Keener. Right, to the telephones. It's Scotty the Legend. Who are the Scots? There's Scrag. You're losing viewers, Scotty. Now, Scrag, would you rather we didn't include the TikTokers at all then? You see what I mean? We're not losing anybody. It's a massive, massive world out there. This is the internet. This isn't some tiny two-bit radio station. This isn't some tiny television company that's struggling. This is the internet we're on. People can come and join us if they want to. If they don't want to, that's fine. So we're not around begging for viewers or for listeners, Scrag. This, I'm going to be doing this anyway. If you want to join me, that's beautiful. If you don't, that's absolutely fine. Right? Obviously, if you're joining Scotty McClue, you're going to do a lot better than not joining Scotty McClue. But see this rubbish you've put here? You're losing views and stuff. I don't agree. All right? We've got the phone in running, and we happen to have included all the TikTokers to join in. So your choice is you either stick with us, Scrag, or you don't. And it's not a problem either way. Are you with me? Yes, there we go. Does that sort you out, my boy? Scotty, how are you, buddy? There we are. I've just put a question mark to Scrag. Scotty, six people watching. Most have seen. Well, I've got 13 on here at the moment. Scotty, come to Rothsey. We love Rothsey, especially the beautiful facilities on the pier with the marble cisterns. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's me, Glenn. Oh, Glenn, my goodness but, me. How are uh, you? Don't justify yourself to people like him, though, Scotty. People like, like Scrag there? Yeah. Yeah, he's going, you're losing, listen. He doesn't understand the internet. There are billions of people out there. Now, they yeah. don't know about us yet. Well, if I could tell you everyone in the world, and we know that two billion have heard yeah. of Scotty McClue, but they don't they, know about our phone in. They're all going to, he's going to say, oh, you blow your own trumpet and all this, and but you're backing it up with evidence. All that rubbish. But the thing oh, is, yeah. See that guy there? I mean, he's he's been a fan for years, but he's saying, you know, you're losing viewers. We're not losing viewers at all. That's what you're getting at. You know, people, people can come and join us or not. We're going to be doing this anyway. This is what he doesn't what? understand. What's the pop? What's, is he trying to just get, get you rallied up or something? No, I just don't know what point he's actually making. Do you see what I mean? I've included the TikTokers in tonight's phone in. Now, his alternative is we don't include TikTok at all. Oh, please. You see? Yeah, come on. 
platforms. Yeah, so we've got TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, Good. Facebook, and Twitch. And if something else comes on, you link all that in, in future way, yeah. Yeah, everybody needs to I, follow us on Twitch, I, guys. I, if you've got I, a Twitch I, account, Scotty yeah, underscore McClue. Not everybody's going to multitask and put you on all different platforms. And they'll be all no, comfortable with no, no. People are just it. learning about it. For goodness sake, as I said, we're a couple of weeks old. Yeah. You know, it's amazing how you give people a free present and they moan. You're an apology, Scotty, isn't there? They moan. You know? Yeah, come on, Scrag. Let's have an apology, lad. If, Scotty, I'll put some art to him then. If he can think of something better, make it into improve it. Yeah. You consider it well, I'll yeah. be delighted to hear anything. Any suggestions? Yeah. But if don't get back. something for free with one of the world's leading broadcasters exactly. and if start can... moaning. If you can find a way to improve your gig, yeah, then, then I'll be delighted. Consider it, you'll consider it, won't you? Bert? Of course we will. I, I think it's right to sort of think it's as good as it can be. Well, it's, it's fantastic, I mean, uh, You know, we're but, there and we're live, you know, and who can actually fault that? There's nothing to moan uh, about. See this moan culture? Yeah. I would just say, I would take the lot off them and say, right, you're getting nothing. I know, exactly. Yeah, no, whatsoever. You're getting a lifetime ban I mean, from Scotty McClure's phone come in. Up with, like I said, come up with something constructive, and yeah. then, then you'll consider it. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, but, I mean, to come on and say, oh, you're losing viewers. <laughs> take it with a pinch of salt. Take it with a pinch of salt, lad. I mean, absolutely. There are billions of people out there. Do you know what I mean? Do they, do they want you to just be something like a little drunk or they just... Yeah. Go Say, oh, my it. goodness, oh, dear. Oh, please don't. Doing what all... Well, what everybody on TikTok and that when they do all the videos. And it's, you've got to be different. You've got to be unique to yourself. You've right? got to be your sin. If, you, if you're not yourself, you're not being honest, are you? You're not. You're not. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? And with Scotty McClure, as you know, what you see is what you get. A great call from that lad who just came out anyway. Good on him. Good on him, I tell you. Hey, and dinky yeah. do to the Eli. Dinky do, Scotty. Take top, it easy, big Top man, man you look after Ta yourself, Glenn. Ta -da -la. Top man, absolutely. Now, what do we got here? Larky Daddy, hello. Ha <laughs> ha says Angel. They should just behave and say nothing, right? Or out in the park, they go. They're the ones who should get a ban from the grounds. You know, they have cameras and police. But you are upholding old school journalism standards, Scotty. Well, of course, Vaughn. Absolutely. The people matter on here. Uh, exactly. They hear it at home. Bad language is so disrespectful. I want freedom for Scotland, says Vaughn. Right, Vaughn. We'll get you a bit of that. We're all back at school, Scotty, for a history lesson. Yes. Dinky do, Kareem. Good call. Thank you, Glenn. Tell them you're dying, then say no. I'm only joking. Uh, well said, Scotty. It's amazing. It's on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. So pleased to see the phone lines are back. Angel, absolutely. You should give us a call. There we go. Scotty McClure, you're needing an advert in the newspapers. You can be seen on YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitch. And give them the phone number. Good one, Angel. We like that. Two strikes and you're out. Scotty, people can be and will be jealous of you and your success. Kareem, Scrag's been on a long time. Why is he moaning? It's costing him nothing, right? And he's getting an hour of free chit-chat with Scotty McClue. And he's going, oh, do you know what I mean? I think if they banned Orange Walks, says Larky Derry, they would just have straight gay Parades with flute bands. Right. Too many people whinging about everything nowadays. Frank, you're quite right. Absolutely. Good whinge. Scotty, have you heard from the old guy who used to call you Nation Radio to give you a tune in his harmonica? No, Hamish from the drum. I'm not sure. Hamish, Hamish was an orangeman. He could have told us all about it. Very interesting man. 100%. Yep. 10% authentic, Scotty. That's the stuff. If we get any more free, we'll blow away. 
Yes, keyboard warriors, Scotty. Too many of them, says Glenn. Dinky do, Glenn. Good evening, Scotty. Let's go on to TikTok. What have we got here? Jack, we don't discuss the pandemic. Scotty McClure, would you get a clue? Alpha, I've got a clue. Have you? Dinky do. Fantastic. All our lovely TikTokers. Uh, Scotty boy, how are we? Hello, Ryan. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky do. Tap, tap, tapity tap, tapity tapity tap. You TikTokers. Do you still have your mega mix? Yes, we do somewhat. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, you know, it's wonderful to be on live on Scottish phone. Ah, Numpty Heed. The three Numpty Heeds. How are you, Numpty Heed? <laughs> Numpty Heed, what do you think of Scrag having a moan? I'll tell you, I've phoned up for a reason, Scotty. Right. Now, you're talking about the Campbells and the McDonald's. Yes, Glen Coe. Yeah. Well, let me tell you about Glencoe, Scott. I've been up to Glencoe camping because I was interested in the history. Yes. And I've, I've visited the monument yes. three times. Yes. So it's been um, put there by the Canadian clan. Yes. If you came where I'm coming from. Yes, of course we can. The, we can where you're coming from. Now, can I tell you a secret? About the clans, the McDonald's and the Campbell's. Yes, let me just say hello to GMZ and Peter Heed. Well done. He's just saying hello to me on TikTok. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about the Scotty McLean megaphone in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, well, can I tell you a secret? Yes. About the McDonald's. But if you the, tell uh, us the secret, it'll not be a secret. Well, listen, it's history, Scotty, and Good. only those, only those that uh, refer to history will get in the secret. Ken. It refers to the clans. Ken. The McDonald's, when they were um, visited, they were visited by uh, King William's uh, crowd. Uh, King William's crowd, that was the Campbells. Aye, aye, the Campbells, because... Because um, they were loyal to the king, you see. They put them up for a fortnight, Scotty. They put them up for a fortnight, but MacDonald, old MacDonald, not the one with uh, the farm, hadn't he made it to sign the Oath of Allegiance to King William because of the bad weather and the poor travelling conditions. The snow, aye. So, so he couldn't make it in the snow to Inverary. Right, now so that's you, why the McDonald's, King William ordered the murder of the McDonald's. Aye, aye. But Although I'm the right. McDonald's were bad as well. Right, Scotty, I need to tell you this. Yes. I need to tell you this. A lot of hooses were burned down. Right? Correct. A lot of hooses were burned down. Yes. But I'll tell you, a lot of them managed to flee before they were massacred. Yes. Because... Because the soldiers to the Campbells tell them this is the real reason why we are here. Now, run new before we have to massacre you. Ah, so they let a lot and of them go. Why, that's why only a wee drop in uh, the, the McDonald's was slaughtered. Right, so they uh, didn't wipe course, out the clan, they let a few of them go. They slaughtered only a few, but they burned in many houses. Aha, uh -huh, they burned so them out. They, they gave them a chance. Run. That's very and interesting. Now, they I soldiers. didn't know that, Numpty Heat. Well, Scotty, these soldiers that were sent there on King William's orders yes. felt this is not right. You know, they've been a with Remember, they the, came the, to the, the door the with murder in mind. The, the Campbell had me. orders, King William had signed. I'll tell you, there's a good song out there, sung by the, the Corrie. The Massacre called, of Glen uh, Coe. Oh, Cruel Was you the Snow. The Glen Coe song, the Corrie song. Beautiful, can it find? Aye, well, I'll tell you, people should listen to that song, they'll get a wee drift of the story. Yes. And I'll tell you, Scotty, a lot of them managed to run in the snow and the hills. Just Fantastic. Their lives. Well, so not to hit, there you are, you've them. educated us all tonight. Well, no finesse, because see them all night, I'm going to give you more education. Well, we can't wait. That gives us something to look forward to tomorrow, no better. Well, 
Make sure everybody's tuning in. Absolutely tune in for Numpty Heat's history. There we go. What a guy. How amazing was that? I didn't know they'd let so many of them go. Loving the phone in, Scotty. Dinky do every day. Yeah, we don't need to repeat what we hear. Everyone knows what's happening in the world. Time to spread the love, not the bad news. Scotty, like you said, it's just the culture. They love to moan. Absolutely. The Bruce gets a medal of Germany. Yes, indeed. Well, Robert D. Bruce was French, of course. Wonderful to have all you beautiful TikTokers on. Fantastic turnout tonight. Thank you for that. And dinky do. There we are. Now, give us a call as soon as you can. We've got about another 15 minutes of the fun in tonight. So I want to hear lots about it. And uh, get sharing, of course, that we're live. On the old TikTok. We love that. Fantastic. I'm going to do a share. I might disappear for a second. If everybody watching... If you're watching on Twitch, can you follow me? Scotty underscore McClue. If you've got a Twitch account, Scotty underscore McClue. Go to it and follow me, please. We need another dozen followers. Yeah, we started off with two last week. We've now got 65. So I need another 12 tonight. 77 would be nice before bedtime. So if you've got a Twitch account, Scotty underscore McClue. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and tap the bell for the notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClue goes live. This phone in is about two weeks old. So there you go. And uh, what have we got here? Lovely to have everybody with us tonight. Thank you very much. Lots of lovely people on the old TikTok. Super Scotty McClue. Amazing Adam. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty. Hello, Scotty, my man. We love all this stuff. Thank you so much to all you beautiful TikTokers. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dink you do. Now, great show as always, Scotty. Thank you, Larky Denny. You should phone us in. Mrs. Paws has joined us and says hi. Hi, Mrs. Paws. How lovely to have you with us. I wonder if I can do some sharing here. That would be rather good. What have we got here? There we are. There's some detail coming up for you. We're live on YouTube, Twitch, and LinkedIn. Get yourself on to Scotty's LinkedIn and come and join us. Give us a quick call on the phone in. Always lovely to have you with us and welcome. There we are. Jacob, we don't need to know that. So we'll just let you go. There's Jacob away down the swanee for being filthy. Yes, we don't need your filth on here. And uh, Flamingo will send you down the swanee for being a half-witted idiot. There we are, gone. How beautiful is that? Lovely. Just getting rid of what we call the wee trolls on the TikTok. We've got the TikTokers up live with us as well, guys. So excellent stuff. Do come and follow us as soon as you possibly can. Uh, feel free to give us a call. You've got the telephone number there. I'll hold it up for you all to see. Can you see that? You can call, call Scotty. On uh, 0141-628-9795. We're barely a fortnight old and already very, very popular. Guys, remember this is the internet phone in. It's worldwide. We just need to get the news out there that we're live. And that's where you come in. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, I say. Get the word out there. And let's hear what is happening. Right, more beautiful chat from you guys. What have we got here? Here we go. Scotty, you should allow people to stream it in the channel. That way you'll get Twitch friends watching. Well, Angel, we're going to do that. I mean, how, how would I go about doing that? You know, I mean, I think everybody should be streaming it. But how do you tell them all? Because I'm new to Twitch and we had about two followers and now we've got 65. I would like another 12 tonight. So if you've got a Twitch account, Scotty underscore McClue. If you've got a Twitch channel, 
then get streaming it. Get the word out there, I say. Angel, good evening, says D. Good evening, D. Get the word around, everybody. Liked and shared, Scotty. You're a genius, Scotty. Vaughn, so are you. There's a lot of genii on this phone in. I am bowled over by the high caliber of the contributors. Just amazing. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. I'm afraid you're a bit highbrow for the trogs. I spend time with Kirby, the Annihilator. We're not highbrow at all. We couldn't, you couldn't get more down to earth. This is the people's phone in. That's what it's about. I'm not sure. I think you have to allow it by posting something that allows that. Find out. Do Angel and let me know. Guys, if you've got any suggestions about how to get the word out, let me know. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, do, Scott. It's Brian here. Brian, lovely to have you with us. Is it generous, Brian? Uh, yes, I think it might be. Generous, Brian. I can't thank you enough for your kindness. That's okay, it's no I, problem. I was looking to send you a wee email. I don't know if you got a message back off me. I did, I got one off of you. Uh, generous time. Brian, guys, has been contributing to the phone-in, and I am so yeah. grateful. That's okay, it's no problem. GB. Okay. GB, generous Brian. Brian, what do you think of it? You can tell the truth. Everybody's listening. Really? Do you want me to really tell the truth? Yes. I think it's great. I think the show is really good. I'm enjoying every minute of listening to the show. And um, I can't wait to hear, hear you going on further. Because I just, I think it's a really good show. And you really like You it. like the idea of it. And think about it, Brian. It's on the internet. Now, the yeah. only reason I was saying if anybody's got a spare pound or two, I'd be very grateful because we can buy little bits of equipment, mm -hmm. you know, and okay. um, and start to build it up little bits of software, improve things. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we've already improved the main uh, computer. Yeah. And what a difference, you know, because we don't get the glitching and all that stuff. That's good. That's you know, good. And, and even the concept, I mean, I love the fact that anyone, anywhere in the world can phone right now. Yeah, that's good, yeah. that's good. You and the fact that we're it. very new, Brian, it'll take a wee while. Yeah, it's getting better. You can see the numbers, but we, we watch it on YouTube and see the numbers going up all the time, so it's yes. getting better. Yes. And, and YouTube, I mean, once the word gets out on YouTube, I'm, where I'm not terribly good with it is uh, how do you get it all shared out there, do you know what I mean? You just need to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And I don't mind if people say, nah, it's not for me. That's yeah. fine. But as long as they know about it. Yeah. What yeah, I, I tend to get is people going, oh, God, I wish I'd known that was on. I love that. Yeah, well, we used to listen to you years ago when you were on, on the radio properly. And we I, enjoyed it then. So I was glad to hear you when you came back as well. So. Really enjoying it. Well, really Brian, I am very, very grateful to you. No problem at all, Scotty. You're a very kind man, and do give us a ring anytime because of you've probably sussed we've got some great characters on here. Yeah, I've seen them. I've seen them. And they've all got an opinion. They have, sir. Everybody's got an opinion. Exactly. Everybody's got an opinion, and I think it's good to hear it. It is. Everybody needs to, to have their voice. Yes. You're right. Everybody needs to have their voice. Get the voice out there. Quality yeah. talking to you, sir. Thank you. See you later, Scotty. Dinky Doo. Top man. Thanks, Dinky Brian. Dinky Doo La. What a fine fellow. Brian, he's just been so generous the other night. There's Kareem jumping on as well with another pound. Kareem's one of the most generous men in the world. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Kareem. Uh, I can't see anything to press to host. I've only ever seen it in the chat and the option to host. Right, Angel, but we'll get there. Thanks, Brian, for helping McClue's phone in become a reality on the internet. Professor Numpty Heat, one of the most generous men in the world. You could hire a tutor to develop your platform. Yes, but Vaughn, that costs pennies, and we're very tight for pennies. This is why we're starting from scratch. I mean, I am so amazed, as I say, at the caliber of people we've got on here. You know, we're attracting. There's a guy saying we're too highbrow. We'll never, ever be too highbrow. You know, because it is the people's. We like our opinion. Mummy 
So there we are. Light up the joint, says Livers. Thank you, Livers. Livers says, I light up the joint. Somebody used to say, I lit up a room, especially if I came away from the window. We love it. Uh, you've got to oh, own, you've got to your own channel. In the chat, you type host, Scott, hashtag host. I'll make a note of this. You go to your own channel. Is this on YouTube or Twitch, Scarlett? And you type, where do I go? Where do I type this on my channel? Is this for Twitch or YouTube? Twitch, right. So this is Twitch. Guys, if you're watching on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue, follow me, please. Very important. Uh, so there we go. On Twitch, get monetized with Google. Uh, you don't type it. People wanting to host it has to do that. Ah, right. So there you are. Scarlett's telling us here. You don't type it. People wanting to host have to do that. So you go to your own channel, and in the chat you type ha forward slash host. Yep. I'm getting this. Everybody's jumping in here. Forward slash host. And uh, Scotty underscore McClue. So there's not a, a slash F before the Scotty. Right. And other people have to type that. Is that right? So I don't type. But other people do, Scarlett. Thank you. Hello, I keep forgetting you're on. I think I'll set an alarm reminder on my phone. Am I right? 9 p.m. weeknights. And uh, 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday. I meant to say to Karim Gordon, should we be 9 p.m.? Friday and Saturday. I was thinking about that. It's wonderful. So this is on Twitch. Excellent. And we're getting that. Gordon, are you not a YouTube man? You should be able to get your notifications at nine o'clock on YouTube. Scotty, say hi to my daughter, Kaylee. I shall do Mummy Paws. Hi to Mummy Paws, daughter, Kaylee. We love it. Fantastic stuff. Right, who else have we got here? Gosh, I've only got two or three minutes, guys. There's Ronnie on, Ronnie Shaw, dinky do. Hello, Scotty, hello, Ronnie. Lovely to have you with us, sir, and dinky do. Scotty, if I donate an old pair of Scott FM look-alike headphones, would you wear them and we'll crowdfund the mic? And someday we might need to get a better mic numpty, but hang on to your pennies, I say just now. That'd be wonderful, and that was so kind of Brian. To, uh, to get stuck right in there. Good night, Scotty. Sleep well. Dinky-doo. Absolutely dinky-doo, Ronnie. 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, says Glenn. Are you sure, Glenn? I might put this up for the nation. We'll do 10 p.m. this week, but I'll talk to the nation about it if they prefer it at 9. Do you see what I'm saying? There we are. Kaylee says, hi, says Mummy. Pause. We love it. Thank you so much. Right, we're just about running out of time, guys. So I'm going to say dinky-doo to all our beautiful TikTokers. Thank you so much for watching tonight. I hope you didn't mind going live, being part of the phone in. And of course, we'll have pure TikTok pop-ups. Uh, maybe one tomorrow morning. Who knows what's happening there? Dinky-doo from Scotty McLuhan. ta -ra -las!